Hi, this is Shelley Latwin from GV Design Canada as we continue on with our series of Matrix 8 videos. We had a little bit of a hiatus over the Christmas and New Year's and so we're back now giving you a video weekly now. So there's two new tools in Matrix 8. One is our mesh repair and the other one is the 3D printing. I'm just going to go into the 3D printing and here is these are these tools and two of them are quite useful actually three so I'm going to show you three today um, the first one here is um, uh, ring support so if I highlight the ring press enter voila there is your ring support which is pretty awesome now if you've got a ring that is squared down at the bottom you may want to adjust the top length so it's at 0 0.9 let's try 11 and press enter so you can see here it kicked out so those bands that come out that are a little bit flatter you could go uh, a little bit wider for that I'm just going to go back to 9 and you can adjust the width as well our top width uh, bottom length and bottom width as well if you want to adjust the height um, depending on uh, your caster maybe five millimeters is a great length um, you can also if you're going to use the um, Envision Tech printer you can use this as a, a little um, support um, right off of the, the base there and you could you could shorten this to four millimeters but again talk to your caster on the length that he wants the sprue at. Our base shape is defaults and elliptical but you can change this to a rectangle if you want so if you had some uh, claws coming all the way down here, or sorry for you Americans, it's prongs. Um, if you had prongs coming all the way down, you might want to go with the square base so that you can add some supports um, that are coming from the base. Uh, there's also a outline of the ring. Hang on here. Um, sorry. Yeah, outline. It's not really changing with this because this is pretty much um, it's pretty much that outline, but you can see here there's ra rounded corners. It's kind of cool when you got an oval or something and the outline does kick out. Um, and then the last one is none, so we'll press enter. So I'm happy with this. So that's um, a really fun way of being able to put a support on and using that for um, the casting, um, for sprueing for casting. The next one that I'm going to show you is oriented text on surface. So if you work for a manufacturer and you want to put a number on the sprue, let's say we're just going to use number one, two, three, four, you can decide on your font thickness or your font size and your thickness. And when I press enter, it says surface to orientate to. So let's click on it. And you can see here that this little one, two, three, four is skating along the surface. So you can re rotate it. So if I click on rotate on, and if I go R, enter, and then R, enter again, now I can get it orientated the way I want. And you can go ahead and click on it, and there you go. So that's really great for a manufacturer. It's not quite in all the way, so why don't we just turn on Rhino Gumball. You know how much I love this if you've been watching my series here. <laughs> we'll... Um, we can just move things in, scale it. It's awesome. And then if I want to rotate it with the little handle there, pretty cool, huh? So that's um, orientate text on a surface. And the final thing that I want to show you with this tool is if we want to put our um, a name on the inside of our ring, it's this tool right here called Finger Rail Text. Now the important thing is is that you must have a ring rail in your ring because that's what how Matrix goes out searching for it. So if you don't have a ring rail, if you click on this tool, nothing's going to happen. So make sure you've got a ring rail. We'll click on our button there. And so unfortunately you can't import images in here. So it's going to have to be something typed in. So I'm just going to put the initials of my company, GV Design Canada. Uh, again, I can choose my fontness, my thickness, span degree. So if you need it really spread out, you can mess around with our span degree. I'm going to show you that in a second. 
and placement angles at 220 degrees. So if I go ahead and press enter, voila, oops, I got the ring <laughs> turned around. I always look for that little ring, that pear shape, wherever it's pointing. And I can also look at the grid. So there is um, uh, GV Design and on at this location so if I decided that I wanted to change it to another location we'll click on it I can try my placement at 120 uh, if you want the span degree I was messing around with 50 earlier and again so we'll go back to GV Design Canada press enter and so here we are on this side and it is spread out a little bit more with that 50 so anyways now the other thing too is um, if I go into let's go into the through finger viewport here so it's half in and half out um, there was one of our customers was telling the other day that um, there's this trend now where you can have the initials come out quite a bit thicker and so then and then you size the ring so it's quite snug on the customer so that if they ever take their ring off <laughs> so it could if you know if Betty gave Jim the ring and Betty's name is in here so then Jim's kind of got a little bit of a tattoo on there that says Betty on his on his finger but you'd have to you'd have to reverse the text but anyways that's kind of cool so you can think about it if you want it to come out you can do that but again because it's half in and again you can adjust your thickness and so you could do a boolean and so why don't we do that right now if we go into cutters boolean we'll put our text in there and we'll put our object in there and do boolean so it did um, uh, work on meshes too um, boolean and when the, the ring was on a mesh uh, or converted into a mesh it did flow as well so that's two um, well actually three things that I wanted to show you in the 3d um, print um, section under tools there's uh, the rest of these guys are for support building works great on the Envision Tech product um, and uh, so look forward to more tools uh, coming your way and again um, we are GV Design Canada. We do online training as well. We've got DVDs that you can purchase as well if you're just wanting to um, take uh, sit at your home and um, and train yourself. Thanks very much. Talk to you next week.